Hey everybody, welcome back. Press 11 to exit full screen, by the way. Uh, let's do the weekly pack. Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I want to take a ride on your disco stick. Not really, though. It's just a song. Okay, so here's the deal. There's going to be a lot of new animals here. I will read them as I see them, but they also incorporate some foods and some animals from other packs. So the Frilled Dragon gets a temporary 1-1 buff for every unit on your squad with a faint ability. An ant has faint and is round one playable in the previous configuration of the pack to begin with, so I respect that. Now, we got frogs that I don't respect, and um, we got moths, uh, which I also don't respect. Uh, so, here's the deal. Let's try this. It'll be a delicious baguette. How about a nasty baguette? Okay, so we're, it's going to be a 2-3 dragon that's actually going to be... A 6-3 dragon. Oh, you know, that was close. <laughs> I'm content with my mathematical draw. I'd rather have that than have like a glass cannon ant that seems irrelevant to me. Now, you when you sell a chinchilla, you get a 2-2. So it's basically like it's a 2-2 that sells for 2. It's pretty good, but I think I'd rather have a second frilled dragon right now. It's mighty interesting. How about two moths? And uh, our rightmost dragon will have a little bit more HP. Now, I don't think that there's a lot of things in this pack that play with faint abilities. Like if we'll see a wombat or like a toucan later, that's just five ants. What have you done? Am I scared? I'm unperturbed. We win this? Five ants? People are wilding out. People are in the damn lab. Okay. We got a yak, we got a peacock. I'm gonna start with a level, of course. A sheep that has a faint ability. At this point, I would be like, you know what? Add it to the squad. Roll me. I would purchase this. Now, more attack, less HP. Here's the deal though. I think for right now, you can't lower the HP on a unit past one. So we're basically just creating like a, a glass cannon ant for three gold. So that was essentially just plus three attack for three gold. Something we might wanna we might wanna use a little bit on the on the not weekly pack, on the on the regular pack. That's good intel. Hold on. Oh, we were you're so lucky. We were 50% chance to get a win there instead of a draw, but still it's working. So if you saw the toucan there, the toucan passes back. I'm going in, man. The toucan passes back uh its equipment to the unit behind it. Very interesting mechanic here. And I gotta tell you, maybe we're getting a little meme -y here. Some people might suggest this is a little bit of a meme rich environment. But on the other hand. I think we have a 14-1 a, a ant. Now check this out. A wombat. At the start of battle, copy the level 1 faint ability from the highest tier enemy. It's a very interesting unit. I like to use it. I like to give it a try. I don't know what I'm doing with this ant. I guess I'm thinking that maybe at some point we'll want to give it coconut armor. <laughs> I'm not sold on a frog doing anything for us. Okay, so they're doing a, a little honey cascade here. What is a honey cascade? The toucan will pass the honey back, which will then pass the honey to a toucan, which will then pass it back. So they, I'm just going to be honest with you. They got toucans we didn't. Toucans real strong right now, at least in my limited uh, plays of the game. Give me that level two moth. A whale. I don't see it. Um, really, what I do see is maybe our dragon goes to level three soon and maybe we got a little wombat here or something, okay? And I, I'm still keeping the tempura shrimp, which I think is a bad idea. <laughs> because I don't really at this point need to make my ant like any stronger. It's already a 15-1, but it's very funny. It's a funny thing is like what it's doing. Okay, do I have a faint ability of any sort? No, so it fizzled. Unfortunate. It's okay. They got a big chinchilla there. Now, you go level three. A friend sold gain 1-1. One, one. I love you. I love you. I just don't know what I'm going to do about this. I think we got to try. 
It makes, oh, you're getting, you're basically, you're a 9, 10. No, roll me. Let's interface with new mechanics. When you upgrade your shop tier, gain 50% more attack. Interesting. I feel like you could use like one more faint trigger for 3-3. Three, three. Would you rather have 3-3 three, three or 6 attack? I'd rather have 3-3. Three, three. And the, the Marmoset is fun. It's basically when you sell it, you get a free reroll, which I think is okay because his stats are okay for the early game. But uh, obviously now it's a little late. And then on level up, it doesn't get anything. Abilities deal two more damage. Not really useful for any of our units right now. Um, I don't really want to go deep in the spider here. Would you hate a guy for just buying a salad at this stage of the game? So we should have... A 16, 17 dragon? That's pretty good. So we're going to copy the badger's ability, actually, here. Which means the wombat will have a badger of its own. Which is a little scary. We made it, though. That's two wins. I think we're still in pretty tough here. We could use some stronger faint abilities. Cheese. Attack for double damage once. There is a part of me that looks at this and says, you know what? What about an ant that now can go to the front? <laughs> that on hit, it's going to do 28 damage. Now we can add a toucan. It has a faint ability. I think it's probably better than a spider. And its faint ability is passing equipment backwards. So ideally, like for now, I would pass honey backwards. But for the future, I would love to pass some meat backwards. There's not a lot of amazing, like, held foods. As you can see, meat can seriously do, like, a number. Hold on, wait, did they have a faint ability? They had a toucan, right? What the heck, it's not gonna do anything for us, maybe? Okay. At least we drew. But even just that one B was hyper-efficient, okay? Now, I don't think we want a hamster here. Now, this guy's interesting, the Emperor Tamarin. When you sell him, he gives... 50% of his stats, obviously at level 2 it's 100%, at level 3 it's probably 150, um, to the leftmost shop pet. Now you can make a, an animal appear in the leftmost spot in the shop by freezing it and then rolling once. So there is a way to get that to like back to onto a unit, but you could also just buy a can. I, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better about back to can. You can't, I guess you can pass a fortune cookie backwards, but all of these units, I don't know man, you know what, sure, pass it backwards. I think that for the time being, we have such pitiful stats. I, sh I focused way too much on getting the ant to do anything. <laughs> I think that our, uh, our game plan, and we're going to copy their anteater, which is freaking sweet, by the way. But uh, I think that our game plan is going to look like uh, we're going to lose. <laughs> or are we? Yes. But it wasn't off by too much. Uh, is to can up as much as possible and then buy like one good, hopefully, tier 5 unit. Can me? I mean, this is very is a very simple methodology we're getting involved in. Um, I would say none of these units really hit the spot for me. Roll me. The odds of this rhino working for us are so low... But I feel like I have to try. And I, I do recognize it makes our bearded dragon worse. I feel like it was really... I guess we should have put the toucan in front of you, but... I feel like we needed to have a chance. This is potentially very hazardous to our health. <laughs> yeah. I felt like we needed to give ourselves a chance. So I, I just got blown out on that one, and that's fair. We're still learning, okay? The weekly pack. That's only like my third game in the weekly pack. I don't really see a world where we're um, stoked to have like a big chinchilla, but maybe we got to give it a try. We got to learn something. Now, I'm assuming like when I sell you later, if you're a level two, you probably spawn two chinchillas to trigger more cells. Let's be a clumsy sailor. Burbling sailors, like that's just 
too macabre for, for my style of entertainment, quite frankly. So, to be expected. We got two two ones on our squad. That's not, you know, bullish early game. How about something there? A toucan already? Okay, I mean, I would absolutely have a toucan pass honey back. For some reason, I thought toucan was tier two. But to have honey and then pass honey back one is also, that seems like absurd value. They got their own toucan, but it doesn't have any equipment. They're, they're trying to get an achievement, I think, which I, I have to say, I respect. I'm not trying to get an achievement. I'm just trying to farm some self-esteem. So I'm going to take my win and move onwards. Say best of luck to you. Now, I'm going to, we're going to do something weird here. Level up, okay? Now, I do, I like the idea of actually you getting buffed. And then you would sell, when, when we get you sold, you'll back to something in the shop. Dare I say, you're going to back to something. Now, for now, I'm just going to keep it like this. I don't want to, I don't want to compress you. I'm happy we're getting confirmed buffs here. Again, we could basically get plus four attack with no downside on our bird. And then we could combine our birds, and then we'd actually have two HP, although, okay, yeah, yeah. I know I, this didn't work last time, but this time's different. <laughs> Source dude, just trust me. Hmm. Hmm. All right, great minds think alike. Now, there is a catch. Have you noticed the catch? We have to... This is great. So you pass it back two now, which is nice. You have to get to level two. Because if you stay at level one, we're basically giving you 100% buffs and getting 50% in return when we sell. But my plan is not to sell for quite some time. Worth a shot for the time being. How about you give me one of these? I don't know if this is apt, but I, I would rather have a 10-1 than a 2-1. At least we know it's very likely to trade one for one. Unless it gets sniped by literally anything. 9-7 puppy. It's a little spooky. Mm, it's not that spooky. Okay, so it's an interesting squad. It's not the squad you would probably build for yourself, but it's it's doing some work. Very drawable. It's very drawish. Let me tell you, I also think passing garlic back to in the mid-game would be highly annoying. As good as the bee has been, I'm willing to throw some garlic at the squad here, Okay. Now, we have also created a 14-1 bird. My dream with the Emperor... I forget what the actual naming convention is, but my dream with the Emperor is that it will come out... Son of a... And give, like, 15-15 to, uh, a, like, a Tier 5 unit that changes our life. That's my hope. Thank you so much. Now, not you. We, look, we've used you enough. Let's be real. Now, so you're going to give a 10-6 to the leftmost unit when we sell you. But I'm not ready to sell you yet. I am kind of ready to sell you, but we need a better target first. Nothing here appeals to me, really. Um, roll for better animals. A, a toucan is beautiful. I, I can't be mad about it. I'm kind of over the fried shrimp right now. <laughs> I guess we could just buff our toucan, but that seems like not what I'm looking for. Even though the toucan's ability is, is really good, especially at this stage of the game. You stole my toucan. What the heck? And then your toucan's going to pass back some freaking garlic, man. That's fair. Okay, it's quite a draw. It's a rather drawish build here. Now, a wasp, admittedly, I'm like, I see a world where 50% of, uh... Ah, but it's so late in the game, we're only going to get, like, a couple more levels up. I mean, that's... If, we, if you had 14, you go to 21, then you go to, like, 30-something. Maybe there's a world for this. Maybe there's... And we're not going to... We can keep you in the shop for a minute here, okay? So why don't we take you... Just work with me. If there was ever a way to make the wasp work... I mean, admittedly, a rooster also seems like a pretty sick thing to, like, get kick-started right off the bat. But let, let's try something new, right? What if we could get... Uh, this is such a poor investment of funds. But what if I could get you to pop, man?
But we would need to buy the Wasp probably next turn, which means we would need to sell you next turn. We seem to be stalling a little bit. Like, not stalling for time, but like, <laughs> you know, when an airplane stalls and goes into a, a, a uncontrolled dive. But you can me real quick. Let's think about this. 4-3. Roll me. Am I going to have you sell? We'd have a 19-10 that would then become basically a 30-10. Wait for it one second here. You're like a you're an interesting seller as well, actually, because if I sold, well, we got it with like freeze, you would come out as a 2010. Then we could do some huge sells with the chinchilla and get you popping that much more. Okay. I actually prefer this, I think. So sell me. Buy me. Work with me here, okay? Combine me. I really don't want to roll a four squad right now. <laughs> Maybe by selling you, you would summon two four fours. Two two twos? Two two twos. Okay, that's fine. You get a nice buff. You get a nice buff. Oh, you don't have a sell ability. You're just like a guy. I thought I was way smarter than I actually am. Okay, try again. Come on, man. Oh, you know what? I mean, buy, sell. We only get one of them this time. I got to roll four squad like a fool. What? What am I going to do? <laughs> um, um, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy a frog for a round. So that our toucan with garlic has a bunch of HP first at the start of this is not. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done to the squad, man? What have I done to the squad? Is this okay? Is a 25-12 good enough to justify this? I feel like the answer has to be like, of course not. But I think we're going to draw. That's so funny. <laughs> Okay, give me some viable sellables, man. We gotta, we gotta get ourselves out of this. This is the ultimate buy sell. Get out of here. You had your chance. Buff me. Friend summoned. Give it plus one experience. Works two times per turn. We don't really have anything that takes advantage of that right now, but it's an interesting idea. Obviously, the platypus is the dream for us. I'm still gonna... Let's use the sell first. Just thinking, man. So anything that we bought would come out closer to level two. You know, given that we've got stronger units approaching now because we're at a higher level of like shop tier, it does interest me. No sellables. No sellables. I mean, a second toucan doesn't really do anything for us. I think I would rather give a bunch of attack and freeze the toucan. I, I'm not running four squad just to be like a memer. I guess a penguin with a, with it being like a level 1.5 would also be kind of sick. Don't get me wrong. We're adrift in no man's land right now. But is that so bad? Was that wrong? We're dead. I, I can't believe we're still losing to a honey badger in a weekly pack. Like have mercy. Get some new material. So we could basically pop out a level two penguin. You, you, the, the other thing we could do, I guess we could just pop out a toucan and it'll get enough experience to level up our toucan to level three, which is kind of insane. And I know like the thing is, I don't want to put a cow out there first because then it's going to soak up the experience from the, the alpaca trigger. I'm happy we did it with the toucan. I think you go right into the penguin again. And then we probably want you to take the buffs here, is my guess. We, yeah, okay, because you're giving, yeah, okay, sure. I, this, this to me, this makes sense. This makes sense to me. Now, you're also insane. Before friend attacks make the enemy target weak. I'm going to freeze you for a moment at least. I think you could do some work. Excuse me? Only two of my units are uh, level two or above. 
What was I thinking? Why did I think the penguin was a slam dunk? Don't say it. I know you're going to say it. Don't say because you're not very smart. <laughs> okay, we drew at least. Tier sixes. Tier sixes are here. Sell me. You stink. Okay? Make the... Okay, this is good enough. And then I think we want to make sure you're here. So, you, yeah, you get a chance to work up to the maximum you can. Not interested. Not interested. Not interested. Although a poodle scaling faster as a result of the alpaca would be nice. Not interested. Interested. But just wait, because I'd rather like sell a bird, pop you out, then you would be at a level two. We'd put, we'd put you in, then we could do some buy-sell mechanics. I was really hoping to get another lionfish, to be honest with you. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so we're prob this is going to be a tragic lethal if we die here. But I stand by this. I know what I need to do next time. Please let me live. I have so much. I've got so much inside of me I'm willing to give. Son of a. Okay, we're still. Hey, guy, this is good. I'm starting to see the value of this alpaca, man. Your, your tier five, tier six units getting stronger, like more experienced quickly is kind of insane. So start me here. You're going to go here, which then allows us to get to a level three. Then you're going to be like a level 2.x or whatever. But now you can pop how many times per turn? Four times per turn. That's amazing. Now, we have six gold left. I would love to get an alpaca out there. But why do it now when instead we could wait and then maybe get a level 2 alpaca out there if everything goes well? You have a sell ability. We might as well trigger your sell ability. And then, forgive me. I think that this new octopus at least stands a chance. It's, it's just not what I what we want. I think right now, unfortunately. Um, so at least it'll it'll pop some equipment maybe or trigger some something. I don't know. Break some green peppers. That's that's probably good enough for me to feel like pretty good about that. My, what the heck? It's incredible. It's working better than anything's ever worked before. Are you seeing all these faint triggers? I'm scared. What's happening? I don't know if I can kill this peacock, man. I don't know if I can kill this peacock. I can kill this peacock. Okay, thank God. All, all I could ask for was a draw there. I'll take it. Poop fart. What a name. Okay, we're looking for sell triggers, man. We don't see any. We're going to sell you. We're going to buy an alpaca. Then it's going to get... Accept other alpacas. I thought it would be accept other friends, but I'll admit to you, I simply did not read it properly. Um, okay, so this will create a level three clownfish, which is amazing, like, if we're able to live. How about a snake that's been nerfed, apparently? Hurt and faint, give friends plus two attack. I mean, you're coming out of a very strong snake, don't get me wrong, but I don't, I just don't know where I'm gonna put you. I just don't know where I'm gonna put you, quite frankly. Is a snake better? Is a cow better? Two free malks? In the whole scheme of things, I guess I would. I just don't see the snake working. If I, if I'm being honest with you, and hold on, you have a cell trigger. You're good for next. Um, I just don't see the snake getting to shoot more than like half of a time. So I would rather maybe like our starfish have a chance. Is round thirteen. Things are getting a little hot. Things are getting a little spicy. So we have we have many faint triggers coming here. Overriding these one ups would mean the world to me. Overriding the green pepper would mean something to me as well. It, it ran out of triggers. That getting three wins is a heartbreaker. I'll just level with you. Now run me back later, arena mode. Because I, I, we still got a, we got a good chance in us, man. I'll take a bird and a duck. I mean, it's... A, a toucan, the toucan was not the problem last time. And I would keep a marmoset. It seems like a great sellable unit. We should have buffed the toucan, to be honest. But uh, let's be a huge finger. You can understand, offensive fingers is so good. You can understand why I wouldn't want the toucan to be at the back, because then it wouldn't pass on its buff. But for one round, sure, we probably should have buffed the, the toucan. Uh, by the way, we win. Okay, that feels good. That feels good.
feed me. Marma set me. I still don't... I mean, I guess we could have a toucan taking the buff. If No, because we'd rather have like a chain going back, I think. Even if we want the duck to be gone long term. Okay, um, this is insane. Obviously, the order is not right there. So the toucan will pass a B back, which will then pass the B back. And then we'll have a level 2 toucan, which is incredible. And I still think that garlic was not our problem last time. The problem is you got to think very clearly about the other animals that are available to you. Or, sorry, the other foods that are available to you. Because, uh, like, a green pepper doesn't really count as a held food when you faint because the green pepper is broken by that stage. Same with, like, melon armor, coconut armor, etc. Um... Meat, I think, is good. Steak only works once. Cheese only works once. Lemon, historically for me, with a, a sample size of one, has not been very good. They've made the puppy good again. Interesting. That's an interesting situation we find ourselves in. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to buy this. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sell this marmoset. So the, this is like a bladder fish. Gives random friend with a hurt ability plus two health. On buy, that's actually pretty good. Um, I don't really see this being a hedgehog, but and obviously we have nothing that synergizes with that right now. I do think a wombat's kind of sick. Copy level one faint ability from the highest tier enemy. The problem is if it's a badger. <laughs> you know what? Maybe the wombat can take the buff in case it's a badger. And we'll have two of them, sure. The, the problem is uh, if they have no feints, it fizzles. And if they have a badger, we're in for a world of hurt. At least with our previous positioning. But hold on, I'm looking at this and I'm like, this seems okay to me. This seems fine. We're also going to pass honey backwards one more time. Not that we're ever going to have to worry about it. Dude, okay, this is kind of popping. The toucan chain with a little wombat kicker, it's kind of popping. I would say buy me. I would say roll me. You're gone pretty soon. I'm not worried about you. Not interested. Not interested. V way too heavy on the rolls, but what do you want me to do? Like, we're, we're looking for a very specific assortment. Now, we're going to hit a level up on turn five. That means more to me than, than just yeeting eight gold in rerolls, and I mean that sincerely. Probably. We're going to copy your ant's ability, which is useless because it's at the back, I'll admit. But again, you got to... Now people are going to be like, well, you should have the uh, wombat further up so that doesn't happen. Okay, I mean, that's fine. But what if the f they have a freaking badger? Then their badger kills like my strongest unit um, because of where I got the wombat position. They'll be like, have it at the back so it doesn't get badger killed. I'm willing to take the chance that it's an ant is what I'm trying to say. Level me first. <laughs> There's a part of me that thinks this can work. The problem is that we'd override all of the toucan's equipment. You can't do it. You can't do it. Because the microbe seems great because you'll copy a faint ability from an opponent. Oh, but then if they have a rooster, do you really want to match him with like a worse rooster? Probably not. Roll me. I think we can do better. Honestly, like an ox as part of this kind of seems stupid in the best way possible um we just have to figure out where it goes i don't mind the b being overridden but isn't it a little better if we do like this 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 then we'll get two triggers on the ox right here okay and i do think you could start to think about maybe garlic on the toucan again even though the b has done some good work for us it's only round five i'm not gonna cry yet everything seems to be going a-okay We got a ways to go. Don't get they got their own toucan set up building. I don't know what my faint trigger would be. I guess my faint would probably be a toucan, which is not good for me. We're probably dead. Yeah, I think it was probably a toucan. Maybe the wombat. It imprinted on me as such a good unit. Maybe it's actually kind of terrible. Either way, we need to get rid of these two for sure. The ox probably is efficient enough just to stick around. Let's, let's start slow. You think? You think maybe now's the time? <laughs> I don't... 
really think, just for the record, that this is how it should work, but I- Oh my god, the one time we run into an enemy hedgehog, man, is when we got a hedgehog. They made their blowfish do more damage, and then I get turned into a hedgehog! What? What's happening? Hold on, I'm still alive? I'm still standing? No, we're dead. They, they got the bees. They got the honey badger. That's an interesting team. You can tell they're good at the game because they made a login for the test build. Now, don't lose yet. Give me something good. Come on. Don't think a penguin's going to do it right now. Double damage one time. I don't want... My equipment's going to get overridden anyway. I just, come on, man. Don't make, me, don't make me get back on the buy cell. I don't know what I'm doing. Get out of here. Give me a free reroll. Do it again. It seems horrendous. Okay. I, I mean, you haven't done anything for me yet, but I don't know if that's necessarily your fault. I think I'm dead. I also, uh, I think I'm dead. We also got a toucan that's passing back a bunch of... Uh, garlic to an ox that can't even freaking use it. What the heck is happening? What is this? What have you done to yourself? What have you done to me? You pass back three meats? Holy cow. I'm in a... I'm, it's over for me. This was... We're going up against the most genius teams you've ever seen. I got a no copy. Still, I had a great time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!